right guys look what came in just not too long ago we got some new coilovers for the s1000 because me and him me and my dad are guessing because the bc coilovers they're really stiff daily driving but we're noticing it's getting softer so maybe when we bought it from the guy um maybe he didn't use it as much so they're still breaking in the new suspension are fortune auto and my dad got these custom made so i think the fronts are 12k in the front and 10k in the back yeah so should be a lot smoother ride but that's what we got in the mail today so i'll see you guys when we put it on all right so i'm gonna open them right now and see how they look This is all that matters, just the stickers. This doesn't care, just this. Oh, this is a pretty good looking sticker. I might put this on the toolbox or something, maybe the hard top, I don't know. These are pretty cool. I think these are thicker than those. I don't know if this might be the front or the back. This is front. It's 120, right? This might be it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, these are the back. All right, guys, so I have both of the GoPros, one on the passenger front side and the driver rear. And we have it to where you guys can see how the BC Racing coilovers are. We're gonna go for a quick drive. And then later, we will put on the new Fortune Auto coilovers. Fortune Auto. Clear. So we're small pumps, it doesn't absorb them as well. It's a little rough. It makes everything rattle right here. So my dad started putting on the rear suspension as you can see but as you guys know this side specifically the driver's side where the 
fuel tubes are. Freaking sucks. So, we're just here trying to get the nut because I dropped it. And after we put that, I'm gonna go and do the front circuit. This will hold it and just hold it there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna probably put the socket on there. Perfect. Oh, nice. Well, there you guys know. Use a magnet. Now, you're used, I should say. Alright, I'll see you guys when we go to the front. Alright, so we're here in the front. And if you guys have been with me for a little bit, you know how to already take it off. But if you're new, what we want to do is take off this one that's right here, but we have our zip tie, but on the stock one, it's gonna have it bolted, and I'm pretty sure it's a 10, pretty sure. And then you go down here, take off the nut, but if this one is welded, so you would have to go to the other side and take that off. And then we go up into the engine bay and take these 14s out. Yes, 14s. And then from there, this, the coilover should come out. So, I'll see you guys when I have both of them on and we start putting the new ones in. All right, so another thing I forgot to mention is you have to take off these bolts right here. It goes in like this into the, uh, the wishbone. But these are 17s and you wanna take them out because it'd be a lot easier to take out the coilover. So if you take out these, pull this back, it come out like out like this. And then it should just come out pretty easy. So, and you can do that for the other side. All right guys, so we had the front suspension on and we did like 30 minutes of trying to make everything the right height all the same. And we got it. So that took quite a little bit of time, but I went ahead and washed it for cars and coffee tomorrow. And this came out pretty good for being out at night. There's Integra, looks pretty good. But anyways, we're not taking Integra, we're taking the S. Much, much, much later. All right guys, so it's been a couple of months since I installed the coilovers and they have been really good. Fortune Auto killed it on the suspension with the 12K in the front, 10K in the rear. And for daily driving, it's pretty good overall. And on the corners, it hugs it pretty well, pretty much as well as the BC coilovers. And well, the BC coilovers actually are a lot stiffer, so I'm not sure, I'm not too much knowing into the suspension, but I'm guessing with like maybe stiffer, you can hit corners hard, I'm not too sure. But the Fortune Auto suspension right now is a really good like daily driving, daily driven suspension. And yeah, that's why I waited a couple months to wait. And we probably have around maybe 2,000 miles on them already or something like that I don't know it's just been really good suspension good for daily driving just the BC coilovers were just super stiff in the back we're just killing our backs and another thing too is killing our backs is the OEM seats which are really 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 rough and if you have S1000, you probably can relate that the OEM seats are really bad. Well, I mean, they're good looking, just they're just really stiff, like not broken in, but we just need some, I don't know, Recaros, Brides probably. We'll just see what comes up. But anyways, suspension is really good. 
and yeah i would recommend fortune auto overall just can't wait for our track day to come see how those are still need front splitter and side skirts and a lot more other stuff before we boost it i know maybe in two years probably we'll boost it but i don't know just stay tuned and yeah so if you guys like today's video please leave a like subscribe to my channel with a notification bell on for more content like this comment down below on your thoughts and until next time peace